and graders, in math we've been talking about how important it is to know the value of money. So like, say, it's important to know that the value of a penny is one cent. And it's important to know that the value of a quarter is 25 cents. So just like money, it's important to note that numbers have, in certain place values, have certain values as well. So before we begin, I want to go over the definition of the word value because that's a really important thing to keep in our minds as we move forward with math. And it is the value of a number means the amount it is worth. Now, you can look at this number I wrote right here, and it does mean 243 or 243 because I've been listening to all of you read your numbers and you're doing just such a fantastic job. I've been really happy to hear that. But let's talk about the different values the different digits have because that's really important to know when we're talking about representing numbers. Our math focus for today is I can read, write, and represent numbers up to 10,000. So for example, let's look at this number I wrote on here, 243. Notice how I was really careful not to read it with the and in there because that gets confusing when we start to talk about decimal this year. So I wrote it out and I labeled each of the place values underneath the digits. So right here I said there's a three in the ones place. Now three ones, if we wanted to represent or show three ones, it would look like with unifix cubes, these are usually the math manipulatives that you would use in school. So it would look like three of these little small squares. So the value of the three in the ones place is just these three ones. Now this is where things get a little more complicated, but I know that most of you are such amazing mathematicians, you've seen this before. So the next one we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at the four and the tens place. Now, an easy mistake to make is just say, this would be four tens. The value of that four is really four tens. But if we wanted to look at what four tens looks like when it's represented by these manipulatives, it would be looking at four of these sets of 10. Now, how many individual cubes are there really? Pause this video for a moment and take a look. Okay, we know if there's four set of 10, there has to be actually 40 cubes. So we know that the value of the four, the digit four in the tens place is actually 40. The value would equal 40 because there's four sets of 10. Okay, now let's look at the one, the two in the hundreds place. This is what a hundreds flat looks like. Hopefully you'll be back at school at some point and you will be able to hold one in your hot little hands. So right here, here's a hundreds flat. Now, the digit right here is a two, so we would have two hundreds. Now, it's easy also for us to make that mistake again and think to ourselves, this would be just worth two because it's in the hundreds place, but it's in the hundreds place. So this is actually worth, so think about how many squares are combined together in these two flats of a hundred. If we have two hundreds, this means that the value of the two in the hundreds place is actually 200. Now, over the next couple of days, we're gonna be talking about representing numbers lots of different ways. And so I've been kind of showing you that one way to represent numbers is by using these math manipulatives. The other way to start thinking about when we represent numbers, and we'll come back to this in a day or two, is something called expanded form. Expanded form is when the digits of a number are written out with just their values added together. So if I have this number right here, 243, if I wanted to write it in expanded form, it would look like this. It would look like 200 because that's the value of the two in the hundreds place, plus four in the tens place, so that would be 40, plus three in the ones place. So if I wanted to write 243 in expanded form, it would look like, let me just erase these so it's not as confusing. It would look like 200 plus 40 plus three. So if I wanted to add it together and make sure I got the right number, I could just do that on the side. I could add 200 plus 40 plus three and see what I 
get. So I'm adding in the ones column first. Zero plus zero plus three equals three. Zero plus four and that blank there means zero. So it's a four and two plus zero plus zero is two. That's my number that I have right there. So this is 243 written in expanded form. Another great way to think about expanded form is if you took that number and you kind of exploded it in a big way into all its different values. So as you're working today, I really want you to think about the different individual values of each number. And if you don't remember what they are, you can look down and look in their place value area. Have a great day, third graders.